This is much bigger than water. Obviously, water is the most important thing because we're dead without it. But this is about greed. This is about um, an oil company pretending that this is for energy independence when it's documented this, this is going overseas. This is about now a president who's personally invested in the pipeline, yeah. which in, you know, that's like crazy, you know, third world kind of corruption. You don't think like yeah. that kind of corruption would be so transparent. <laughs> you have media inaccurately reporting that he has sold his shares in this company. He has not. I, I've reported on that. He still owns shares in Energy Transfer Partners, as well as Phillips 66, which is a subsidiary which owns a quarter of the pipeline. Um, this is about politicians who, uh, maybe they entered the arena to for the right reasons but got into self-preservation and hanging on to power and they do that by, by you know being bought by oil companies so i think that to me uh, the consequence of this going through not just for the water but what's next you know to put it simply is like you know where did the fish that you go fishing for where do they live they live in water the animals you hunt what do they drink the water the, you know, the crops you try to grow, you use water to help them bring to life. You know, the, the water you give your children, the water you cook with. A lot of, you need water, it's the base of all things of, you know, creation. You forget that, then that's just, just like, you need to, you know, reassess that and think. And we got to remember that all these tribal men, all these councilmen, they, we, you know, we don't serve them, they serve us. They serve the people. And the only reason they're at that statue is because we give them that trust and that responsibility you know, to care, take care of us, you know, so, so some of us can live our daily lives. Some of the people just want simple lives. That's why we put those people at that statute, because they said they can do it. Now, abusing that, you know, that I think that we have within the power of the people to take that back, saying, hey, you know, we don't like how your leadership is. You know, I think a lot of us need to look into those things, you know, thinking that, you know, the, why don't we look into all these, uh, you know, citizens' arrests, you know, impeaching people, all those people in this government. You know, we are the people we have that right to. Mm. You understand that if there's only one of us coming out yelling at all these things, you know, if we're mass in power, you know, you guys seen it in all the protests and all the movements going on, the power of the people. You know, we're stronger than what they put us, us to be. We, we got to remember, we're the ones that keeping them alive, you know. Who fixed their vehicles, you know, who runs their water, who cooks their food. We got to remember, we're the ones... They're taking care of them too, not the other way around. You know, that's one thing that we need to realize: the power that we have as people. We can stand up. You know, we gotta take it upon ourselves because we can't look for someone to save us, someone to do these for us. We gotta do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta do it ourselves and look into it. Cause you know, if you're not, then you're just more guilty than the uh, the person doing it. You stand by letting it happen. Mm -hmm. I think that's worse than somebody that is just doing it themselves. If you have the power within your power to do it, do it. That's how we change. We can't look for a hero. We gotta be the hero because we're trying to stay as prayerful as possible. It's really difficult when you're getting sprayed, tear gassed, shot at, bit by a dog, and not retaliate. We look at it as like a Sundance. Traditionally in a Sundance, you're sacrificing for your people. You, you do it in prayer so that your people won't suffer, you'll suffer for your people. And as long as we remember on the front line, we'll suffer for our people and not retaliate. No matter how much they brutalize us, we won't retaliate because they can't break our spirit. They're not going to, and they're not gonna put out our fire. We just need to realize that together. Hate, violence is not gonna solve anything. It'll make us look bad. Just like how they did it at the Backwater Bridge. We were, they were spraying us in 20 degree weather, below freezing weather. And we were violent because we threw water bottles. We just need to give people that hope. You feel down, sing a song. Feel angry, sing a song. Feel happy, sing a song. Because songs, they bring unity. They bring your spirits together. They bring you together as human beings. We're not robots, and we need to show corporate America. We're not robots, and we're not made to be bought. How can you not try to understand that we need to preserve this life so we don't have to go around with masks on, with umbrellas, where we can actually touch the rain, smell the air, 
t- drink the water. There's so much beauty in it. I pity Trump and the cor- corporations. I pray for them. Hopefully one day they'll see. They're so sick. They're so brainwashed. They're so addicted to money. It's an addiction. It's an addiction to fossil fuels. It's an addiction to um, money, greed, corporate greed for short-term profit. 